Hello, I'm Emily Barker. Welcome to your monthly news update from the Community and Public Sector Union. Well, the burning question this month is how deep would a coalition government cut public sector jobs and services if it wins power at the September federal election? Shadow Treasurer Joe Hockey is on the record as saying 12,000 jobs will go immediately and has refused to rule out cuts of double that. The CPSU has launched a campaign warning of the flow-on effect of job cuts of this magnitude. You can watch and share this ad at the Cuts Hurt website. Meanwhile, opposition leader Tony Abbott was guest of honour for an organisation calling on the coalition to cut 44,000 jobs out of the federal public sector. He joined right-wing luminaries including Rupert Murdoch and Gina Reinhart at the Institute of Public Affairs 70th anniversary dinner. The opposition leader heaped praise on the body which late last year released the report Razor Cuts Not Paper Cuts, calling for massive job cuts as well as the privatisation of national icons like Australia Post, the CSIRO, the ABC and SBS. The CPSU's Governing Council has met to plot out its defence of the public sector should the coalition win power in September. Prime Minister Julia Gillard dropped into the meeting to pay tribute to the good work CPSU members are doing in keeping the nation on track. We know you are out there on the front line in our departments every day uh, doing the policy work, coming up with the good ideas, intersecting with the public, making meaningful that ethos and that vocation of public service. And you will never hear from me a disrespectful word about what you do. I am very admiring of it. And I'm very admiring too of the work and contribution of this union. The CPSU is calling on the ABC to commit to place an increased focus on opportunities for production in regional areas. A new Senate inquiry into ABC regional broadcasting has adopted many of the recommendations from CPSU's submissions and evidence. In particular, the committee has recommended the ABC regularly consult with regional stakeholders in the film and television industry to ensure regional communities get the chance to tap into production opportunities with the national broadcaster. Finally, the latest from the crazy world of government cutbacks. News that Prince William and his Sea King helicopter have been grounded thanks to the UK government selling off the British search and rescue helicopter service. It was announced this week that this service, which employs Prince William, is being taken over by an American company. We await advice from the IPA on how we can apply this thinking to Australia. Well, that's all for this month. Keep up to date on the CPSU website and I'll see you next time.